All this week we've been talking about what makes marriage work. And time and time again, we've come back to this word, submit. Which means to say, you first. To submit to one another out of reverence for Christ is what makes marriage work. But now, ladies, here's the challenge. The Apostle Paul says, Wives, submit yourselves to your own husbands as you do to the Lord. That's an intense calling. And there's been a lot of misunderstanding and, and frankly, a lot of abuse of this scripture that's enabled abuse in far too many relationships. So let me tell you what this is and what this isn't. Paul is not saying that you should submit because you're weak, because you're inferior, because you're worthless. Paul's not saying that you should sit around and be a doormat and be abused and not say anything. You should protect yourself and your children. Submission has nothing to do with that. Instead, submission is a sign of strength. It takes incredible character. It takes a woman who is strong in her heart, in her soul, and in her mind to look at a very imperfect man and say, you first. I'll try to show you love and respect just like I would Jesus himself. And if you want the, the proof of it, let's talk about Jesus. Do you remember the night before he dies, Jesus is in the garden and he's praying to his heavenly father? And this is Jesus. He is as strong as can be. He's the perfect and holy son of God. But do you remember what he prays? Father, but not my will, but your will be done. Jesus essentially said, Father, you first. He submitted his will to the Father, just like a strong wife does to her husband. You need to listen to yesterday's message too. Husbands should submit to their wives as they give up everything to love them. But ladies, I want you to hear this. You are not weak and you are not worthless and you are not less than. You are an incredibly strong woman to respect, love, and put a sinful man first. And that, I think you'll find out quickly, is what makes marriage work. <laughs>